To examine motionlessness, let's do an experiment in space. Since we know that the laws of physics on Earth are the same as those in the heavens, any experiment we can contrive that occurs in space, well, it should teach us about something that could also occur on the Earth. Now, for this thought experiment, I want you to imagine drifting out alone in the cold depths of space. Actually, for this experiment, I want us to be so deep in space that we can't even see the stars or the sun or the Earth. We are truly floating in the middle of nowhere. Now, as far as we can tell, we are completely motionless. Now, let's say you turn on your flashlight, because every good scientist floating in the depths of space remembers to bring their flashlight. You turn on your flashlight, and off in the distance you see another astronaut floating in the depths of space. You're not alone. In fact, this other astronaut is slowly drifting towards you. Now, I wonder what this astronaut was thinking before you turned the light on. I wonder if she thought she was motionless or if she thought she was moving. It's clear that, relative to each other, you're moving towards each other. But it's not clear to me who's moving. Maybe you know. So I want you to think about this question. Which of these two astronauts is moving? Is astronaut one the one who's truly moving? Is astronaut two the one who's actually moving? Maybe they're both moving. Maybe neither of them is moving. Maybe they're both motionless. Or is it impossible to say? I want you to really think about this question, and don't worry if you get it wrong, because this is not a completely intuitive concept.